Oh, Pixar. Two films in one year. It's pretty damn impressive. Good job. Keep doing that. Um, but anyway, hey there, guys. What's up? It's All About Mike 18 here, back with another uh, movie review. Guys, I, I know it was just Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, I luckily uh, did get a chance to go out to the theaters and see. We had a lot. We got a couple new releases this Thanksgiving weekend. And I managed to see one of them, and I'm going to be reviewing it for you in this video. And, of course, the movie I'm going to be reviewing is Disney Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. Um, that's right. I was definitely looking forward to The Good Dinosaur, um, obviously because of who was attached to this project or who was spearheading this project, Pixar. That's right. This is the second Pixar film we have gotten this year. The first being Inside Out. And if you guys saw my review for Inside Out, my Blu-ray review for Inside Out, you guys know that it is one of my favorite movies of this year in my top five. I love Inside Out, okay? So I definitely was looking forward to The Good Dinosaur. I was amazed that Pixar was finally releasing two films in one year. And, um, obviously I will go, nowadays I will go and see anything in a movie theater th with Pixar's name on the title, okay? That's just me. Pixar is that good. Yes. Um, so, naturally I paid, uh, $10 to go to a, uh, movie that the target demographic is definitely for children, but I don't care because it's Pixar. I'll pay anything for it. Um... So the good dinosaur, guys, let me get into a basic plot synopsis, and then I will talk more about the film and my thoughts on the movie. Um, now, the movie is essentially set in an alternate universe where uh, the asteroid that supposedly came and uh, uh, arrived on Earth and wiped out the dinosaurs uh, missed, okay? So literally the same thing that we've seen in all the trailers, that asteroid just going right by Earth, that is the opening of this movie. We, uh, the dinosaurs were never wiped out. They are all alive, okay? And the, the story then shifts millions of years later, and it focuses on, on a young dinosaur who is named Arlo. And Arlo is a, um, the youngest son of a uh, family of farming dinosaurs where they're literally like mining corn, okay? Or not mining corn, they're growing corn and, you know, getting their crops and everything that this is it's Pixar guys so um and he's sort of like the like the the runt okay like he's born at the same time as his his brother and his sister and he's sort of like the runt kind of like Wilbur was in Charlotte's Web just to give an example and um the story focuses on Arlo and how he sort of wants to prove himself to be worthy in his family that is, they all accomplish these great things essentially. And at some point he gets lost from his family, he has to find his way back to them uh, on a very long journey and accompanying him on this journey at first very reluctantly is a young human boy who is named Spot. He's sort of like a like the son of like a caveman, like he, he looks like a caveman, like he's literally wearing like leaves as like a diaper, okay? And he is just this wild child, he's got like dirt and everything in his hair, he's wild, he's, fero he's, fer he's ferocious, he's crazy, but at the same time he is resilient and he knows how to survive. So the two of them, and Arlo is sort of the dinosaur who's literally scared of his own shadow, so the two of them are going to try to find their way back to uh, Arlo's family, okay? So he can get back to his family. And that is all I am going to say about The Good Dinosaur. Um, now, I went into this movie thinking, or I, I didn't really know what to make of the plot for this movie with the trailers, because the trailers did a very good job of not really giving anything away in terms of plot. And I really liked that about it. I love when trailers do that. I love how they just really show us cool shots and gorgeous looking shots without really A, spoiling anything, or B, just giving us a taste of what the movie is going to feel like. And that is why I sort of got pumped up for The Good Dinosaur. And I can definitely confirm that visually and in terms of the animation, this is the probably the best looking animated movie I have seen all year long. The animation in this movie is stunningly gorgeous. There were moments where I literally just sat back in the theater in awe and my mouth dropped and I was like, that is real, right? Okay, like, they literally took a camera, they shot somewhere in, like, a forest or something, and that's real. That's what I'm, what I'm looking at right now is real, right? Right? 
Okay, no, that's animated. Well, that's pretty damn good. Okay, that's literally what happened to me several times in this movie. And there are several aspects that worked incredibly well for The Good Dinosaur. This is definitely... There are elements of this movie you can definitely say, look at that and say, okay, yeah, it's Pixar. But I gotta say this much in regards to The Good Dinosaur. This is definitely like if you throw this and several other movies in front of a person who's only seen a few Pixar films, out of all the batch of movies, they would probably not even consider The Good Dinosaur to be a Pixar movie because this it doesn't have like the specific look that like a Pixar movie would have, you know what I mean? I mean like, yes, yeah, some human characters like are drawn to and they um, look like a human character would in another Pixar movie. I mean, you get that. But like in terms of uh, Pixar's like Easter eggs and everything that they throw in in all of their movies, um, you don't, it's very hard to, to sort of find those Easter eggs in this movie because it's set where everything is set outdoors. So you can't find a Pizza Planet truck somewhere or a Luxo ball, okay? It's set, you know, in the ancient times sort of where there's cave people, okay? But specifically, we're focusing on dinosaurs. So you can't just see the number A113, okay? It's just not going to happen. So yeah, this is like the least sort of it has the least sort of feeling of a Pixar movie, and that is good and bad in a way, but mostly good. It's good that Pixar did something slightly different and sort of changed things up a bit. But in terms of like how you feel, how you know you you know feel emotionally attached to certain characters, now there are sad moments in this movie where the emotions just sort of hit you out of nowhere. That all makes you it makes this movie feel like a Pixar movie, of course. Um, but in the same sense, yes, this movie is doesn't wholly feel like a Pixar movie. The problem, though, with The Good Dinosaur is that while it looks beautiful visually, the animation and everything looks beautiful, I, see, I saw this movie yesterday, so I had time to think about it. The one problem with what The Good Dinosaur is lacking is really in terms of story component. Um, I felt that this movie lacked a lot in that, and I heard that this movie had gone through some problems during the production. I know that originally two different directors were attached to work on this movie. One had already started directing this movie. I think Bob Peterson, uh, the guy who voiced Doug in Up, uh, had been directing this movie and then he stepped down and resigned. I don't know why. And um, uh, the guy who actually directed this movie, who's credited for directing this movie, Peter Son, came in to direct this movie. So I know that there were a lot of different visions for this movie and specifically where the story would take the the characters and whatnot and I think that honestly more development was probably needed for The Good Dinosaur. I probably wouldn't have released this movie this year honestly because I know this was supposed to come out after Monsters University but before Inside Out so I like they obviously had to delay things because things were not ready but I feel things some certain things still weren't 100% ready with The Good Dinosaur. Um, and don't get me wrong, the story is sweet. There are some heart-wrenching moments in this movie. There are some moments where uh, it's very hard to get me to cry, okay? And I did not cry in this movie. I cried in Inside Out once, okay? I, I'll admit it. It's very hard to get a movie to break me. But several audience members surrounding me broke down in moments in this movie. And that's what Pixar is better, better known for. But my problem specifically with the story is that not only does this not feel like an original story, like there are several moments in this movie where I said to myself, I've seen that movie before, I've seen that movie before, and I was like, okay, those movies did those things better than this movie has. So the script does not feel wholly, uh, completely original, uh, which was one knock I had against it. And the other knock is that the movie sort of starts um, out of nowhere almost, okay? Like there's... I, I didn't know that this movie was going to, the whole main premise was going to be this young dinosaur named Arlo trying to find his way back home. Because when Arlo gets lost from his home, I'm like, okay, this is just a subplot. He just got lost. He's going to find his way back. And then, I, and then it hit me like a few minutes later. I'm like, oh no, crap. This is the movie right now. This is, this is the main premise of the movie. And it's really just that one storyline for the whole movie, Arlo trying to get home. Arlo trying to get home. And yes, the characters do grow throughout this experience. But by the time we come to the climax of the movie, by the time we get to the resolution even, it, it nothing felt earned. Like, uh, there, there's a certain thing where Arlo wants to prove himself by putting his mark, okay, on this wall, okay, that his family, they all have their marks on the wall, and he wants to get his mark on the wall. And by the time things wrap up in the end of the movie, by the time we get the resolution, I was saying to myself, 
was that earned? Did it really feel earned? Then I looked back at the rest of the movie and said, maybe, but not really, okay? It's like the, the characters go on a journey in this movie, but nothing really all that compelling or all that just exciting or anything really just heartbreaking just really hit me hard and that's ultimately why I didn't just get attached to this movie like I sort of wanted to um don't get me wrong I think that uh there's great moments but those moments are really just we meet characters like we meet a group of, of t-rexes we meet a group of pterodactyls and that's it okay they come into the movie then they come out and then maybe they'll come back in when it's relevant and then we won't see them anymore and that's really it okay so it's just like these two characters on a journey and it's the same beat just them trying to get home nothing feels different from that and that ultimately is what hurt the movie for me so i know it sounds like i'm just bashing this movie in. I don't hate this movie at, by any means, okay? I just don't think it's one of Pixar's best, quite frankly. Um, it's one of the films that I would rank lower, um, but I still don't hate this movie. I still, I'm going to say this, I still have not seen a bad Pixar film, okay? No, I have not seen Cars or Cars 2 or Brave, okay? I'm trying to avoid watching them because I know they're not that great, so I've heard. So I don't want to have to watch those movies and say, oh, I saw a bad Pixar movie. Pixar is flawed okay no i no i'm not watching them because i they're older okay i don't have time for them but in terms of pixar's recent films like inside out and monster university or even toy story 3 the good dinosaur does not hold up with those in my opinion that being said though i still found enjoyment in this movie the animation is unbelievably gorgeous okay i think the voice cast is nice i don't know who voiced arlo but i liked the voice acting very well uh, whoever did the grunts for spot i think was nice um we have a few well-known actors in some of the other roles like francis mcdorman uh plays arlo's mother um we have jeffrey wright plays arlo's father um we have anna paquin sam elliott i think the casting was very well done um but um you know, the score is nice. The animation and the visuals specifically are what kept this movie just as good enough for me. It's what kept my engagement in the film. There are gorgeous sequences in this movie. The landscaping, everything that went into the animation in this movie is literally flawless. I will say that. I will go that far as to say everything is literally flawless on that end. Just the scene where they're looking at the fireflies and everything, the one thing that we've seen in all the trailers and everything is beautiful in the trailers and it is gorgeous on the big screen i'm not gonna lie um and again there's there's shots where arlo there's like a close-up on arlo and he's like waking up from something and there's like the background okay literally it looks like they took a camera and they shot it in an actual like they actually shot something and they literally just put cgi animated arlo in the background and that is how good it looks, okay? That is how real and authentic the animation looks in this movie. And I just have got to praise Pixar for that, okay? Um, so yes, gorgeous looking movie, beautifully animated, beautifully drawn, computer work, excellent, excellent, excellent work on that end, by far. No one's disagreeing with that. Score is great, voice acting is good, the story is good, there's some great moments, there are some, there are some heart-wrenching moments in this movie, I personally may not have cried, but there is definitely one sad moment in this movie, and you know it's coming, but it's, it's pretty sad. But my overall complaints, main complaints with the movie, mainly revolve around the fact that it's not a completely original movie. I definitely got the feeling that this was um, a Lion King. I, I was, I felt like I was watching the Lion King in some moments. I felt like I was watching um, Charlotte's Web in other moments, like I referenced earlier. There was another movie I, I can't think of at the moment, but yeah, it feels like all of those movies were done better. Okay, and this movie was maybe not paying homage to them, but maybe trying to do something different from them but it doesn't completely work and that's why that sort of backfired for me um the story feels a little flat like it's just one story beat that's another thing that i didn't completely care for and the pacing wasn't all that perfect uh for me in the movie i i, I wanted some bigger moments i honestly felt the movie was long too and it really isn't that long um so i i just feel that on that end the movie sort of fizzled a little bit but other than that it's still a decent movie i'd recommend you guys check it out um at some point maybe catch it on cheap night it's still pixar so it's still gorgeous to look at um the short that was shown before at sanjay super team was very nice i liked that um so those are my thoughts on the good dinosaur guys i am going to give the good dinosaur a solid grade of an 8.25 out of 10 or b minus i like it i don't love it 
Um, it's not one of my favorite Pixar movies, but it's still a decent movie regardless. I think kids will love it, of course, um, and I think families, it's definitely a good family movie to take your kids to. So guys, that's all I have to say about The Good Dinosaur. If you've seen the movie, let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.